Hey, good evening, everybody. We are the Founder Big Band, and we hope that you have enjoyed the, some of the art show. We're going to give you another chance to uh, go back and visit some more of those art exhibits uh, in just a little bit. So that's really cool. And also, beforehand, we had a jazz group playing in the um, main lobby there, and I want to introduce those guys to you um, because um, it's pretty cool that they did that. They just kind of did that on their own too. So. Uh, that some of them are in here, so if you're in here, would you please stand up? Olivia Scales, she's on playing drums. Olivia Scales. Okay, back there. And on uh, tenor saxophone, uh, he's helping us with sound tonight, Mr. Wes Tremble, right here. We robbed one of them from uh, that group and put him up here on bass, so he's a different pro on bass. And the leader of the group, I uh, guess the leader, uh, the one we put together, is uh, Christy Phelps on piano and vocals. Christy Phelps, where are you, Christy? Is she here? Awesome. Great job, guys. Uh, at this time, I want to just introduce Kelly Vanover here from the Foundry Center for the Arts, and she's going to um, give you a few words here, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kelly Vanover. supporting the Foundry Center for the Arts. If this is your first time here at the Foundry, I just want to welcome you and tell you what an absolutely special place this is. I've been the executive director since October, and I will tell you I have seen God do more miracles in the past few months than I think I've ever seen. Um, this is a very, very special place. Um, this is a place that welcomes the arts. Um, we truly believe that the arts are a gift from God. And we want to honor God by utilizing those gifts and growing kids and adults in those skills in those skill sets. So we have so many classes that we offer from painting to drawing to pottery, which is why we love to show off their art, which is why we're having an art show outside. So if you haven't taken a look out by the steps just outside of the theater, please do so during intermission because we have some really, really talented folks among us. Um, and then we also, not only do we do things for the visual arts, but we also have performance arts. Um, so if you have children or adults who are interested in singing, dancing, or acting, we have a place for them here as well. We have a full dance studio, lots of theater productions that we do each semester. And super exciting, all summer long, we are having summer camps um, for kids age 7 to 14. So if you know of any children that love the arts in any capacity, whether it's visual arts, music, or acting, singing, and dancing, we have a camp for them. We would love for them to be a part of it. You can go to our website at foundryarts.org to check all that information out. And we are a, not a, a 501c3 nonprofit. So it is individuals like yourself that help support us and keep us here and we cannot thank you enough for that so during intermission we are going to be taking up a love offering and if you find it in your heart if the lord moves you to want to donate to the foundry we would absolutely love that again we are not in it for the money at all we are just in it for glorifying god so before we get started and continue on with the performance would you all mind just to bow your heads with me because i would love to pray and just thank the lord for all that he's done Father God, you are so good. God, you continue just to amaze me every single day. Thank you that you love us even though we don't deserve it. God, you are just good. And so, Lord, I thank you for every single person that's on this stage, every single person that played out in the lobby, and for every single person that's here supporting someone. All the artists, whether it's a musician or whether it's a painter or a sculptor. Um, God, I just thank you that you have given individuals those gifts. And I thank you that you've given us a place where we can come and grow in those gifts. So, Lord, I ask for your blessing here tonight. I ask for your presence here tonight. And may you just move in a powerful way. Um, so, Lord, we love you and I thank you. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Kelly. We are very, very pleased to be here. This is actually a great place for us to play. We enjoy playing in here. Um, can you hear us? Okay. <laughs> kind of thought so. The first selection uh, is uh, one called In a Mellow Tone, and it um, featured on uh, trumpet, Mr. Uh, Badland. We, 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 this, we have a Badland size bar that's on trumpet here, ladies and gentlemen. And, yep. Just fresh from uh, vacation from the Badlands, so that's how we got that name. And then the whole stack section was featured on that too, so very nice. <laughs> 
we just uh, finished a, we just did this last Sunday, we just did a jazz uh, uh, festival uh, for University of Arizona. They have to be held at Preston Arts um, Center. And so um, we're playing some of the tunes from that, but we also have um, co a complete um, Christian set of, of, of songs too. And we also have a, a vocalist that sings with us and sometimes we try to get Kelly sing with us and we're gonna try to get to do that and make that happen again. But, um, uh, actually, uh, he and his wife are just about to have a baby, so he did not. We didn't have, not have him tonight. So tonight's set is uh, mostly just the selections, other selections, big band selections. But we are going to go on and now do one that is uh, by one of our favorite uh, rangers named Chris McDonald. And um, the Chris McDonald big band is actually out of Nashville, Tennessee. And if you're into what you're about to hear, I would, I would recommend you look look them up because he has great great recordings and there's a great CD called No Pews Required and it's it's Christian music set in a big band mode that's awesome and um, so we're going to continue this was sometimes I feel like a motherless child
that featured Mr. Chris Jones on alto sax. <laughs> Mr. David Daly on trombone. We've got a whole rhythm section for that piece, rhythm section, <laughs> And a lead trumpet, little lead trumpet stuff going on there at the very end, Mr. Kelly Dora. <laughs> Love this time of the year uh, as a teacher because some of our students that have gone away to college are uh, back, and uh, it was very cool to see some of our college students here tonight that uh, graduated from our program or maybe even played in this group. The next piece is called "Frankly Speaking." It was written for a, uh, a music educator named Frank Williams, and um, I think you'll like this. It's a little different change of pace for us. This is "Frankly Speaking."
our guitar player, Will Poole, ladies and gentlemen. Now, do some of that little scratchy thing that was that. Uh, what was that scratchy thing? What? That's what? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's cool, right? <laughs> yeah. You just, you just want to play something yourself? That was awesome. You want to play some more? I like that. That was really cool. Yeah, play some more. Really. Play some more. Good. Okay, give us some more. That's cool. This is, uh, this is a great tune. Um, it's called Nutville. Features some other players too, but uh, we'll hear a lot of Jason Pruitt again. At the end of this song, we're going to have an intermission. We invite you to go out and uh, check out the art exhibit, and we'll be back in here in about uh, 15 minutes after that. Okay, thank you. This is Nutville. <laughs> Thank you. 
also featuring Ethan Abner here. Fantastic. Backland Sizemore over there. And the awesome, nice version of Buddy Rich, Jason Kruger.
We'd like to turn the microphone over to Kelly Van Orman. Before we do that, the theme of that song was called You Dig, with a question mark, and it featured on a trumpet, uh, Batman Size Warren. Yeah. And the first time you got to hear this guy tonight, uh, we, we lovingly refer to him as Barry Guy. This is uh, yeah, um, Dylan Marie's song, Barry Sides. <laughs> you dig. And we're going to turn the microphone over to Ms. Kelly. What an awesome first half that was. Um, I do want right now, if you would, we're going to pass around Allison and I, who has kind of headed up our entire art program outside and really kind of organized this entire event tonight. I want to say thank you to her. And I also want to, we're going to pass around some buckets. Again, if you feel led to give and donate to the Foundry, we would absolutely love that. Again, everything goes towards pouring out the arts in a godly way to everybody who enters through our doors. So thank you so much for being here tonight and continue on this work. We'd like to feature our, um, uh, by the way, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. We'd like to feature our tr uh, trombone player uh, that we got to hear a little bit earlier this, this evening, uh, Mr. David Daly, on a um, classic here, a standard that I think you guys will know. And um, just so you guys all know, on the audience, it starts with a vamp. And um, this, one, this, one. this one. This one starts with a vamp. I'm just. Make sure everybody just got that information. So, <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth, uh, damn. Okay, this is Caravan, and uh, it's a great piece. There's, of course, many, many people have recorded Caravan. It was written by um, Duke Ellington and also the trombone player and I want it all. Um, a lot of different arrangements of Caravan, and uh, this one's a really fun one. Off we go.
The next piece, oh, hey, yeah, great job, Mr. David Daly on the trombone. <laughs> this is Robbie Bell on tenor saxophone. Let it go, Sarah and I go. <laughs> Gabby Cape on alto sax. <laughs> You've met Chris Jones on alto sax. <laughs> Ethan Abbey on tenor sax. <laughs> Dylan Maurice on uh, tenor sax. On bass trombone, Craig Edling, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Craig likes Christmas songs, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and uh, on that uh, trombone here tonight, uh, also filling in, but doing a great job, Mr. Keith Williamson. <laughs> you met David Daly here, and so yeah, great job, Mr. Daly. Thank you. <laughs> Straight from the Badlands, we've already met several times, Mr. Anthony Sizemore. On new trumpet, Mr. Kelly Dora. Can't <laughs> get out of the way here. This, um, also a trumpet uh, tonight, uh, and just been with us for a long time. And uh, we're just really, 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 really happy with. Uh, well, yeah, some of us have been together for a long time. So, Mr. Mark Rothmeyer. <laughs> also on trumpet from Mount Vernon, Mitch Reynolds. <laughs> This is, uh, uh, anybody ever heard of Maynard Ferguson out there? Uh, this is a, I think a little known Maynard Ferguson chart um, written by a, a great composer, uh, arranger, um, uh, composed actually by um, Oliver Nelson. And um, love, love that music, his, his, all, his, all his stuff, it's great. Um, and then arranged by uh, uh, Robert Crino. This is a Maynard Ferguson uh, recorded, uh, I guess back in the 70s, maybe early 70s. This is called Groove.
We certainly, certainly can't talk. We certainly enjoyed being here with you this evening. And we, if this is your first time at the Foundry, I, I just really want to, want to say welcome and thank you for being here. And um, it, it's just awesome when this place is filled with activity. Uh, and so it's great to be part of that this evening. Uh, again, thank you very much for being here with us. We have one more selection. And this is from uh, one of the hottest uh, contemporary big bands on the, in, in the U.S., maybe even in the world. Um, this is the Gordon Goodwin Fat Band. And uh, again, thank you so much. This is the Jazz Police.
Thank you so much on behalf of the family. I want to thank you for being here. And we invite you to come back as soon, as often as you can. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody.